Hi guys, welcome to a new video. So before the light phase, I thought I'd talk you through the uh, wide mouth skimmer box I've got. It's a Cockney Koi skimmer box and it's wide, a wide mouth one and it also includes um, a return um, that you can import onto the side of your pond. Um, this is, will fit pipes of 25mm, uh, 32mm and 38mm and you can adapt it for bigger pipes if need be such as um, um, your solid pipes. Anyway, I thought I'd talk you through what you get in the box and how you put it together and maybe you'll find this video helpful. So, you get a return here as I've stated. Um, what else you get in the box is you get some um, rubber seals, gaskets to go around. That's for the wide mouth one. Um, it comes with a face plate, which is just a standard face plate. You can buy ones that have like uh, plastic in between that prevent the fish going in. It's up to you if you want to mount that, uh, buy one of those, but uh, I think the one that comes with it is pretty good um, in, in quality. The ones that I've got, um, like a guard on that you can buy on eBay, they're, they're not that great in terms of uh, quality. Um, you also get like a protection ring that just goes on underneath and obviously that wedges against um, you know a solid structure such as a wall or a sleeper wall and obviously you get lots of screws lots of screws in here um, and that's more or less it and they give you some TP pay, uh, tape as well um, which is nice that they uh, include that um, PTFE uh, thread and seal tape that's what it's called and you get that in the box so essentially I, I put it together but I thought I, it would be beneficial for you guys to see more or less um, how I put it together so you've got a weird door in there um, there's actually a top cover there you can twist that and take it off okay you get a little basket in there nice basket um, there's also like a plastic cover and obviously you can see there there's the pipe area there that you can attach your pipes to um, so it all goes together like so but I uh, thought I'd just unscrew the front of it just to show you how I have attached the, the wide mouth part of it on so let's just unscrew that because I just wanted to show you how to put the thing together um, so let's just unscrew that. Unscrew it again. It comes in two parts, so you don't have to have the wide mouth part of it installed if you want. You can also buy it without the wide mouth part of it. Um, but if you would like a, a wide skimmer, it's a good idea to get one. Um, it depends on how much room you've got in your pond, I suppose. So let's just try and take that off. Just unscrewing these screws. Just so I can show you how you put it together. Okay, that comes off. Okay, that, that should come off as well. So that's the wide mouth attachment, as you can see. Um, obviously, it's got uh, um, slots of the screws on the back. Let me just put that away for the time being. Um, so that's essentially the, the standard. I think it's four inches wide, something like that. And then you've got your weir, your weir plastic door, um, which has uh, some foam on the back of it, so it keeps floats it. Um, and there's some slots in the front there. If you can see, there's some slots there and there. You just input it there, and then you you put your gaskets. Now this actually comes with two gaskets, so I suppose it's up to you if you want to use both or just the one. But you put your gasket on there, you screw in, and you put your wide mouth door on the top, screw that in, and then once it's all in, um, installed, such as like so, we've got that in there. If you want to see how I cut this out, check out part five of my uh, sleeper koi pond build. Um, and then essentially, Essential when you've got that installed, let me just show you. I'll put that down so we don't damage it. Um, and it comes with lots of screws, obviously. You put your liner against that, 
um, and obviously you've got a seal there that would go on there like so and then you put your uh, top plate on top of your liner so you have to cut a hole in your liner and then you put that on top there like so and that gives you a good seal and um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get some um, foam uh, I've got some landscaping black foam which will be better than using um, the builders foam which is yellow and, and I'll foam it in all the way around here and then when we've got a liner on we can put our plate on and then cut out a, a, an area in there for the liner so that that's uh, nicely in position um, the only thing I would say is if we're going to have a water level about here which is about an inch down you need to make sure it's about three quarters or at least half of the actual uh, level of the actual um, uh, wide mouth so essentially if we've got a water level of about here we need to be approximately up there so we're either around half the, the, the you know the, the water level or about three quarters we don't want to be any lower than that we don't want it to, the water level to be that high um, on the actual skimmer so I just wanted to show you the Cockney Coy skimmer box um, I just want to do did a quick video before the light fades just to show you how you put it together um, so in terms of the package that you get um, if we just have a look on the inside there you, you get like a, a black a, a, like a, an insert basically that goes in there and then slots in like so you can see that slotting in like so and then you've got a basket that goes in there and then obviously you have your weird door which slots in like so now you don't have to use the wide mouth you could use just that on its own and just have that in like that however if you want to get as much debris into your skimmer box the wide mouth option is a good option for you guys so I just wanted to show you how you put this thing together um, because I don't think there's a lot of videos out there I'm showing you how to do it um, and essentially I hope this video helps you out um, so something that is interesting that you get that comes with this is a return pipe as I said it'll fit 25 mil 32 mil and 38 mil and if you really needed to uh, you could unscrew this unscrew that go to your local koi pond supplier and I'm sure that they would have an attachment for you it's not a good idea to buy it off eBay because you may, might buy the wrong size but you could probably get yourself a two inch screw pipe um, to put on there so you could still have your return and what's good with about this this um, thing that's applied in the box is it actually comes with two rubber gaskets I don't know if you can see that I'll just show you close up can you see that there's two rubber gaskets there so you can sandwich that through your liner which it's really nice to supply that I would like to see if I can get hold of two of these so I could have one here and one further down projecting water towards the pump that I'm going to have down here um, so this obviously is a little extra that I've done to part five of, of my pond install because I just wanted to show you this uh, Cockney Koi um, skimmer box which isn't expensive it's only £50 with the wide mouth and I think it's about £30 without so I would certainly highly recommend that you uh, get this um, if you want to put a skimmer in your pond and you don't want to spend a lot of money yes a Wazzy do a more expensive version I think that's closer to £200 um, but I think this, this is pretty good so I just wanted to give you an overview and how a how to install video on how to do the uh, Cockney Koi uh, Yam Itashu I think that's how you pronounce it um, wide mouth skimmer um, plastic box into your pond. I hope this video helps you out understand how you put this together and check out part 5 of my uh, Koi, bond, Koi Pond install and if you've not seen the other parts check those out as well um, because we're up to part 5 now um, but we're getting very close to having this Koi Pond finished uh, next stage is going to be um, the sand um, liner, underlay 
and obviously we've got a filter box I've built. Check out part one if you want to see how I, how I've built that, how I've constructed it. Um, and thanks for watching, and I hope these videos are helpful. So again, go to part five if you want to see what I'm doing with the pond build. Um, and thanks for watching, and have a nice day. Bye bye. Subscribe and like the video. Thank you. Bye bye.